Hello Nikkei fans, in between many big new releases including Guilty Gear Strive, the new Ratchet & Clank, PSO2 New Genesis and FF7 Remake Integrate, we do have another exciting week of indie games in the lead up to the main week of E3 slash Summer Games Festival, so check out what's coming up in this edition of Indie Gaming this week. Let's begin with Country Ball's Modern Ball Fair, a parody third person shooter of sorts starring the internet meme Country Balls. It seems like a flip has switched, since we are getting an increasing number of Country Balls titles, where of course this is a play on modern warfare, but with the expected Balls jokes. Still, it looks pretty neat, so let's see how it turns out. I love chill city builder titles, so Valley of No Roads did catch my eye, being a puzzle entry where you're rotating and placing tiles, having the same vibe as Dorf Romantic or Islanders, and should be a relaxing experience. Multiplayer mayhem awaits with Lumber Hill, a chaotic title supporting up to 4 players and does have a nice variety of game modes. Playing as lumberjacks, chop down trees, construct bridges and buildings while accomplishing various side objectives like rescuing animals or fighting wildfire. Oh, and there's pirates and dinosaurs in the mix as well, looking to be a very good entry in the space. If you enjoy roguelite titles, the Dice Builder game Fast Force Spook Squad launches out of early access and is certainly worth a look. Play as essentially the Ghostbusters, but where you are a cute animal, having you fight spirits on your way to capture the Porter Prince. As noted in a previous video, the dice building sub sub genre of deck builders is growing in popularity, where the randomness of dice does add a new element into the mix. So, if you're curious as to how this changes things, pick this game up. First-person sims have a funny way of absolutely blowing up in popularity, where a title that has that potential this week is Farmer's Life, set in the middle of nowhere in Eastern Europe, where you play as an old bachelor farmer who is also an alcoholic, having to navigate the intricacies of farm life in order to survive. As with most simulator games, the emergent stories and physics silliness are the main draws which looks to be present here, so if it's not broken or buggy, I do expect this to do well. Welcome to Open Country, a new outdoor adventure game featuring hunting, exploration and survival across three distinct wilderness maps. Each map has its own personality, weather systems, and wildlife. From the serenity and calm of mellow meadows, the highs and lows of Tumnus Valley, to the icy beauty of Snow Ridge, you'll have to use your wits and bushcraft skills to survive. Other than the obvious big titles mentioned in the opening, the open world survival title Open Country might be of interest as well, where are trying to become a master outdoorsman by roaming the wilderness, hunting animals, building shelters, and helping the local rangers. 
there are RPG mechanics and upgrades to keep the gameplay loop going, but if you enjoy the great outdoors and are unable to get out there yourself, perhaps look into this. Place for you to hunt. Find your spot on the banks of a lake or river, or head out in a boat for your chance to catch a variety of local fish. Choose your favorite rod and bait and cast away for your dinner. In addition to your bushcraft skills and a large array of hunting weapons, one of your most important hunting tools is also the friendliest. Open Country features a hunting dog that will join your adventure. Besides being an adorable companion, the dog will obey basic commands, discover animal tracks, and point you towards big game. With miles of wilderness to traverse, some areas are too far away to get there on foot. An ATV is the perfect vehicle for the summer and spring. When the hunt takes you to the snow, a snowmobile will help you get around. Both the ATV and snowmobile are loud and can scare away game, so you may need to make the final leg of your journey on foot. These are only a few of the features that are included. There's also a broad series of story-based quests, a chance to hone your skills with vehicle time trials and shooting ranges, extensive crafting and character progression, and so much more. Welcome to Open Country. You're in the wild now. We have a large number of ports of fantastic games this week, beginning with the console versions of Elba, a wildlife adventure, an exploration adventure game about cleaning up the island and helping animals, which is super cute and worth a play. A neat looking platform of interest is Blue Rabbit, set in a futuristic dystopian city, we are delivering packages for the mysterious Blue Rabbit, looking simple but effective at what it does. An interesting physics platformer that spawned out of a game jam is Deeper Sword, where the huge sword that you wield is the main traversal mechanic, and I wonder how far the developer can go with this idea. I've been aware of Hell Architect for a little while, but never covered it since the original version did feature naked people, which is a big no-no on YouTube, but having added clothes, I do think that the prologue demo is safe enough to warrant a mention, but a colony sim set in Hell should have some interesting systems.
I mentioned the tactical RPG Mercenaries Blaze a couple of months back when it launched on Switch, but the Steam version is out this week, and given the pixel art and reviews of the earlier version, seems to be a decent entry that will be of interest to Tactics game fans. Developer Blackthorn Prod has quite the YouTube channel, so do hop on over for game dev content, where his latest entry is Olo Bolo, which is fun to say, being a multiplayer sports title that has their signature art style. One Hand Clapping is one of the most mechanically interesting games out there since you're using a microphone and the pitch of your voice to create the platforms in this world, launching on Steam after being a Stadia exclusive for about a year. Besides having a terrible name, Remains is a space survival crafting title with a cool look, releasing, as small survival games do, into early access this week. I covered the Switch launch of Rise Eterna a couple of weeks ago, where, like Mercenaries Bleeds mentioned earlier, it will be of interest to Tactics game fans when it launches on Steam this week.
I quite enjoyed the PC version of Sunokong Kong vs. Robots in 2019, being a mini Metroidvania title of interest which gets console versions this week. I don't usually cover visual novel titles on this channel, but I do have to give props where it's due since the art in The Remainder Act 1 is absolutely gorgeous. Like the Thor's cyberpunk espionage solitaire title, The Solitaire Conspiracy gets a Switch version this week where it has been getting steady updates and is worth a revisit. Have you ever seen a spy movie? Another Stadia exclusive makes the jump to Steam with the awesome Wave Break, the self-styled skate boating game, so imagine Tony Hawk but you are a bear in a boat and you get the idea. If we don't do something soon, Harrion is lost. Let's kick off the top 5 with Itch of Eternity, an indie JRPG not to be missed, and thus come to us from a French studio. While it does only star two main characters, the genre elements and tropes are all there with the classic turn-based combat and epic story, where it does also have an interesting sci-fi crossed with fantasy setting. And you want to know my secret, right? This launches in 1.0 after about two and a half years in early access, steadily gaining momentum in the months since then, making it the best time to pick it up if you have not. This time, it's my turn. For every warrior, there comes a time. Yeah! 
when a moment will decide your fate. The game that would most probably be the most mainstream popular title of the week is Chivalry 2, a first-person medieval combat sim that's a sequel to the hugely popular title from 2012. It's bloody and brutal, just like medieval times, but a 64-player battlefield will provide plenty of mayhem and action. The notable gap between releases means that there will be a significant jump between the two titles and most impressively comes to us from a 30 odd person studio which, while not small, is not huge either as compared to developers of Battlefield for example so it gets a spot on the list. Another surprise announcement that was made after my preview video was made is the long in development pixel art adventure game Backbone, where you play as a raccoon detective having to investigate a seemingly small case which eventually spirals into a larger conspiracy. Me being me, of course I love the pixel art here which is absolutely fantastic but the amount of detail is mind-blowing and add to that the gorgeous lighting effects may certainly have my attention. For indie developers out there, do check out their Twitter account for a masterclass in community management but given the hype and anticipation, I'm very curious as to how this will turn out. A title that I've had my eye on for the longest time is Chicory A Colorful Tale, the next title from the developer of the wholesome Wonder Song from 2018, who has enlisted a who's who of indie game developers in this project. Play as a dog, building a magic paintbrush, having to splash colour into the world to solve puzzles, make friends, and find the missing artist who is the original owner of this brush. It's so adorable due to the art style and character designs, and if you know me, I do love my cozy games, so it gets a great spot on the list. One of the nice surprises of the week is the early access launch of the cyberpunk book light platformer Blade Assault, a fantastic looking pixel art title from a Korean developer, and trust me, they know their action. Early access has 4 chapters and 4 bosses, 3 unique weapons, plenty of upgrades and even a permanent progression system, so if you enjoy going along for the ride of early access, this is a no-brainer to pick up. how great it is and for how much potential there is, it takes the number one spot. To see more of the big picture, check out these awesome videos and I will see you after the jump. <laughs>